Wait a second. Elytra? I can just spawn as much items as I want right now? <laughs> in this world, we can spawn a random item in game every single time that we crouch. Except we also have a random chance of exploding into particles and losing everything we've spawned so far. But before we dive in, guys, only a small percentage of you are subscribed to the channel. So go down below and click the subscribe button and together we can team up by clicking that like button and beat the YouTube algorithm. Okay, here we go. If I crouch like that, boom, gold ingot. Not a bad first start, but if I keep crouching, I can get, oh my word, right off the bat, we've got elytra wings that we can toss on. Ooh, I've got a feeling I should do this more often. And we got ourselves a netherite chest plate. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to make a decision between the two of them, as well as our iron axe and our iron boots the only problem is i can't just sit here and crouch over and over and over and over again constantly because that will happen if i do no matter how much good that we can obtain we could possibly just explode when we crouch with our equal chance to explode while we crouch and also not explode we're gonna have to use this very wisely let's see potion of fire resistance that's good to have let's see if we can go a bucket not bad at all and another potion of fire resistance that is three times we better use our luck wisely on these next couple crouches i'm hoping we can grab a totem of undying wait okay that actually is great because if we have a totem of undying we should be able to just run through and gather a few items up i believe if we go so ever so slowly and we got a block of diamond which means forget the axe absolutely just toss it right out the window we're going straight to a diamond pickaxe here and we got our potion of undying here oh my word that is absolute juice pure right from the blender the best juice possible we've got ourselves a diamond pickaxe already <laughs> and we do have a blaze rod i wonder if we can get ender pearls from this drop if we do so effectively however i want to grab a bed because if we want to have this be as effective as possible then probably a good idea to have a bed nearby so that we can survive the most gruesome of circumstances i dare do create a diamond pickaxe as well though and we can instantly take down this free potion of swiftness right oh <laughs> oh boy and right there we don't have to waste our life or our totem on the crouching because i have a feeling that this totem might be a little bit more rare than the luck that we had grabbing it in the first place my goal is that we can effectively beat the game without ever going to the nether and we're gonna have to be safe while we do that much squatting and so i've got all of these furnaces getting this iron ready so we could be prepared and i've got a bed here that i'm gonna set over in this direction safely extremely extremely safely and quickly go around in the most inconvenient fashion and cover this bad boy up so that we can uh not get wiped out under unlikely circumstances and this is a base if i've ever seen one myself what a beautiful home for us to rest in overnight <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful home. And now I think we are safe to gather up our iron, craft a small chest, which we'll place inside of our home, and then we should be able to crouch to victory. Not that that is a term that has ever been used before in all of Minecraft, but I think it might just happen to work. First crouch, go. What did we get? What did we get? What did we, did we get brown wool? The anticipation building. I have a base behind me ready for this crouch. And what we get is brown wool. Second crouch item. Let's move this out. I got to see clearly. I need to see clearly. Golden apple. Our first ender pearl ender pearl you will be very helpful in the adventures to come thank you sir for your service to the cause get away so i don't blow up my base or my bed when i crouch need to be far away from the bed oh my word even better <laughs> got an eye bender on that 
there is such a wide variety and we have two totems now of items that we can grab when we crouch that it almost is just do it back to back to back to back diamond or gold and get get out of here we got a totem of undying you think i want a bow actually wait a second that might be useful say oh my word okay just grab the eye of ender and then we blew up thank you so much for the totem of undying and we have two more still from crouching <laughs> which means we should be totally fine we do have i thought that was obsidian it's black wool i'm gonna do a little bit more of this let's see how far can we push our luck we need to get the totems but we've got our bed right here so we should be just fine guys we should be just fine and we can actually see everything that we grabbed right here let's see what do we have we got a bunch of potions we got some diamond we've got a couple blaze rods actually our eye of ender right there ender pearl got that we have two blaze rods now which is juice carefully storing the valuables our diamond pickaxe i'm realizing where'd it go it's back here our diamond pickaxe don't lose the diamond pickaxe give me the diamond pickaxe there it is the diamond pickaxe this explosion however did get a little closer than i would be comfortable with to my safety base so i'm gonna get here in the water or next to the water and try a couple more times and see what we can grab our iron our enchanted apples a diamond block this is looking very good but we do need another totem please we got a blaze rod another blaze rod finally quickly run to store it run to store it get in here please blaze rod three of them total and we didn't even need to get that iron because we got a full set of iron right here that's gas another ender pearl right there and the totem of undying is absolutely perfect our chances of getting a totem of undying some math for you is about one in a hundred which means a one percent chance that we get this and we've got a second one on hand right now and when we have a second one on hand we can spam our crouch until we blow up and safely survive and we can do this do this and we need to search to see what we have here potion of water breathing grab that what items did we get is there anything that was crouch supreme and we ended up with almost everything other than the enchanted golden apples being entirely useless and we got three ender pearls which is really nice i'm getting very familiar with this walk back to the base right this second so that we can toss these in there these in there that in there boom quickly i was hoping it wouldn't if the tnt explosion happens that fast we are in some serious trouble because now all of a sudden we're out of totems of undying and we gotta be a little bit more careful no not like that we did get another eye of ender though on that drop and we have a netherite chest plate we are in a good position right this second and we got a flint and steel with the drops we've collected thus far we can turn these diamonds into a decent set almost a decent set diamond and netherite and we've got ourselves some absolute horrible iron boots sitting there on our feet right now honestly they feel a little cold walking around in these boots right now but the thing that we can't do with the crouching is it's impossible for us to gather a water bucket or a lava bucket which means we've got to go and grab that really fast which shouldn't be too difficult for us to do which is not too far away from our home base just right across the ravine over that direction a short distance walk away and down here we have the perfect source of that and a beautiful lava pool for us to be able to use unfortunately i found out that crouching over and over and over again takes a little while to get ender pearls the chances of it happening minimal so i came up with a slightly different strategy in order for us to find the ender pearls that we really need which means we have to go to the nether it's going to be faster it's going to be less deaths and if we don't get the totems we are going to really mess ourselves up it's we gotta be a little bit careful oh wait a second hello my friend very nice to meet you it might just be a little bit faster for me to do this though and ever so quickly if i can finally do this the right way get ourselves our nether portal that's the best one i've done so far folks but before we dive in to that nether portal let me move just a tad away from that new bed over there and see if we can farm up a little bit 
of gold ingot before we jump in another ender pearl though not bad not bad it's been a while since we got one it's been a long while since we got one where did you go where'd you go my friend come on no i i saw you i saw you i saw you jump out of my inventory i did see you you're no no, no i swear i saw you i know i saw you pop out how could we lose you did you loot did you die in the explosion you died in the explosion no and we're out of totems right this second guys so i'm gonna do this and just store the good stuff and then do another one of these <laughs> I just clicked the crouch button probably 500 times and we didn't die. In 500 clicks, we didn't die. I cannot believe that. We have one gold ingot. Beautiful. We didn't get not even one totem of undying, but we didn't die. We're not going to push our luck much farther than that. I take back what I said earlier. We're going to the nether and we're going to just get the rest of everything that we need there so that we don't explode all over the place. Oh, and this spawn is perfection. How in the world? This never happens. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I probably should have grabbed one of those potions of fire resistance. Can we get one? Please don't blow up. I'm so nervous. Please, another ender pearl. It's so tasty. I love you. I don't want to push my luck. Gold block. We're not going to do it. We're not going to push our luck. We're going to venture off without the potion of fire resistance. I hear you guys. Here you go. Trade me. Trade me, trade me, trade me. Please? No, no, don't run away. Oh, a little book you have for me, huh? I know it's not I know it's not convenient, but I only have 12 more ingots, my friend. All right, you and I, we can work out a deal. The rate's on the market. I'm sure we can find out a way for us to have a little better option. You know, you haven't given me one single ender pearl here yet. <laughs> Yeah, come on. I'm just a, I'm just a guy who's looking for a chance. You're not gonna give me that chance, huh? You're really not. You're really, really not. He's not. He's not gonna give me that chance. Oh, I forgot that I can't crouch, or else I may blow up. But I just did by habit, and I dropped a blaze rod down below. With this blaze rod, we are probably set to rock. And with that, we should be ready to rock. We've got ourselves, including what we have in our chest over here from our excruciating series of events that took place in that hole over there, a total of 10 ender pearls, seven blaze rods, eight enchanted apples, five diamonds, plus do two diamond blocks, and a potion of swiftness, which we can use to get back to our home base on the other side of this ravine over this direction. And inside, combining our resources, we have already two of our eyes of ender, a total of 14 ender pearls, and 10 blaze rods, rods, which should be plenty for us. Quickly do this, and this, and this, and this, and that was too much. And this, headed this direction. A potion of fire resistance still on hand. And before we begin our journey, we use our 23 diamonds to get ourselves a slight upgrade. And that's when our journey began as usual, a long sprint across Minecraft. And now show me where the goods are. Right there in front of me. We've got it. We've got it. Because I struggle with this often. Thank you very much. Take down a little enchanted golden apple. And we're running in. We got the beds on hand. And we're in to face off yet again. One more time against the dragon herself. Give me all you got, buddy. Give me all you got. I got my totem of undying this time, which means you have no chance. Absolutely no chance. Can't even see. I can't even see straight. There you go, my friend! No, come on, please! Why? <laughs> come here, my friend! Oh, gosh. the first time i ever did that i am shook right now oh my word okay i got so focused i got so focused come on yes bye bye my friend 
Bye bye, my friend. Thank you very much for my crouch supreme surprise until I die. Can I can I get out faster than these guys can take me out? I think I can. Just like that. <laughs> Crouching, deadly, but also extremely useful.